Okay, so today I want to show how to grow your own veggies in your home home garden. So this is on bag of soil. So I brought from market. So using that soil, so how you can grow your own veggies? That means the different types of leafy vegetables, even fruit vegetables also can. So by stepwise, I am show this soil how I am using in a wooden frame. So this wooden frame I also collected from uh, uh, some our farm office. They throw it out. So that means waste has already. So I've collected and tried to grow my own veggies there. So I want to show one by one. So you can see this is my uh, home garden. So you can see this is a bottle gourd plant. This one is another bottle gourd. And I have also the chili. This is uh, the uh, brinjal. And this is also chili, the white chili. And you can see there's so many fruits here. These are uh, the bitter gourd. I have covered with plastic because uh, uh, there are so many... Uh, fruit fly they badly damaging everything so this is the uh, yeah, my uh, bitter good plant so this all there are different types of vegetables i have here you can see this is the amaranth the long amaranth so i have just planted inside the one plastic uh, bowl only using the few soils so you can see how uh, nicely they're growing this is called the long amaranth and so this is some of the bottle good i have already planted inside the plant you can see this is a epil epil plant so i have just keep the poly back here and allowing to grow in the plants so this is my own uh, urban farming that we can say that amber farming so this four chamber here you can see this is two chamber this is two chamber so here already two times i have grown my own vegetables the other side the first time i planted uh, uh, kangkong and this side the uh, reddish so now this side i'm changing alternating use, i have already added some organic fertilizer inside and now i am trying to show how i can grow hmm, how i can grow my own vegetables here and how to grow it's very easily so you can you can see this of wooden frame so wooden frame so these two box this is one one box this one is one box this one is another box <coughs> so it is a western material so our farm office they throw it out so i just brought, uh, brought from there so I, I suddenly i thought i can grow some vegetables inside so i am today i am sowing the kangkong seed and also this side uh, reddish seed so how to grow then the, yes, I'm, I'm showing you so how i am growing So this is actually the kangkong seed you see the kangkong seed i brought from market this is kangkong so i have already make one line two line three four five line here so i'm, tra I'm trying to maintain actually the five centimeter uh, that means about uh, four finger that is about two inch two inch uh, the, the line line to line distance plant to plant distance i will uh, adjust after growing the seedling so now I want to show how to sow your the kangkong. Kangkong is a very nice vegetable. They have so many benefits. I am not going to discuss that all, but very very fast growing. And uh, I see the germination is very uh, satisfactory, about hundred percent. So you can take some seed. So you can just thoroughly you can sow the seed here, and later while they will grow. After few days, you can do the thinning to maintain uh, the five centimeter plant to plant distance inside the every line. Or at the beginning, you can also do, but sometimes there's, there's, there's a small seed, so it's very difficult to maintain. So, in that case, you have to sow the seed like this. And while the plant will grow, there's at least a double, about five centimeter, ten centimeter long. At that time you can do the thinning so that that means the first harvest you can also take the I mean uh, the, the you can call it the what is called the the microgreen we can also do looks like microgreen very is very uh, tender at that time that the initial stress so after that after sowing the seed you have to cover the lines that you have made already furrow you can make the furrow so furrow you have to cover if the soil is very dry that's my soil is not uh, dry because few days ago they were raining uh, 
uh, so the soil is still wet so you can cover if very dry then you have to do some irrigation but if very wet then no need so that means it's covered so now i am showing how i'm uh, sowing the i mean uh, reddish seed reddish yeah reddish you may know that this is the white reddish so this is the white reddish so i have brought for the seed from market for the seed sowing mar seed selling market here so this one uh, you have to maintain the also distance very important eh? about five inches from one to another but this distancing i will uh, maintain after growing the plants at the beginning i am not uh, maintaining the distance so i have to make the line also here the same types of line so one this one need a bit distance more distance because the root crop the root the, this is the the root crops huh? so this is the way you have to make the furrow okay so the okay the total i am making here only on two three four here so four line so line to line distance better five inches you can maintain five inches then plant to plant also try to here, here i can keep three three plant only so one two three so by this way but this plant to plant distance i will maintain while i will while the plant will grow properly so that like looks like microgreen so that time i will do the thinning so that time the thinning harvesting the first harvested we can also eat as the microgreen the green vegetables that are the, the, the very uh, succulent and very tender at that time so you have to check properly whether any big gap if no big gap then okay no problem you can proceed okay so this is the way i am sowing the seed here this that time the initial is that this is the dense densely sowing after that okay so now you have to cover okay just cover the furrow and i am again uh, explaining that if the soil is very dry then you have to do the irrigation immediately after sowing the seed if the soil is wet then you no need to add irrigation okay so this this another part so just time to level the different portion if the very cold the soil particle is bigger then you have to make it small so here also again on the one furrow, two furrow, three furrow, and four. Okay, so by this way, just using one a small hand, uh, which is called this is chankula. So this is making that was very easy to make the furrow. Okay, so I made the furrow. Then now we have to sow the seed one by one, like this. I have to sow the seed. The hand on is finished, so I have to take more seed from here. So in the packet, they are uh, mentioning they are they are they have high one uh, they have hybrid. So they are hybrid seed, and I bought from market the price one point seven ringgit in Malaysia. So this I saw the uh, the you know, the percentage of germination is satisfactory, and the uh, root type is also good, not so bad. It depending on how uh, different types of soil you are using. So by this way, so I have finished my sowing. So we have to cover again. So this is the way of making your home garden and. To produce your own own veggies so very easy very normal practice so if you have any free space so you can just prepare or we can buy these types of uh, wooden uh, frame so inside the wooden frame you just uh, grow your own crops so hopefully this will be hopefully this will be very helpful you can grow your own veggies in some of the places any free space of your house so not so difficult just buy a wooden frame or prepare a wooden frame and keep some soil 
so that means while uh, deepness you have to maintain like uh, the five uh, five inches or six inches then you can grow your own because very well so it will uh, uh, be a very uh, safe source of uh, fresh and that means toxin free vegetables so this can cover your uh, healthy needs the kitchen needs or the daily needs of the vegetables that's for the vitamins the and minerals or other uh, essential nutrients that we need to build up our build up our body so that's all from the my home garden